Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, as AMD have recently released their RX 550, an $80 GPU solution designed to replace your integrated graphics at a low price, I thought it would be interesting to see just how well it could handle a few games when paired with Intel's budget G4560 processor. Now, I plan to have a full build video guide of this system coming very soon, but today I just wanted to jump straight into the gameplay benchmarks as I'm a little time consuming strained getting tomorrow's special video ready for you guys. I'll also have a more detailed RX 550 video coming out very shortly. So spec wise the G4560 is a hyper threaded dual core from Intel that offers fantastic bang for your buck. It's ideal for us budget gamers. The RX 550 is AMD's solution to outperforming integrated GPUs at a low price, consuming little power at the same time. Although I can't help but feel that for 10 to 20 dollars more you may as well just get the RX 460. But let's see how this budget combination performs. This card is designed for those easier to run and eSports titles like CSGO and Overwatch, but we thought we may as well push it a little harder first, even if we did have to run demanding AAA titles at 720p. This decision was based on the fact that 1080p, we saw frequent frame drops below 30 frames per second, and whilst this was definitely tolerable, 720p was definitely where this card fared best, until we get to the lighter game games of course. Now you know as much as I do that the G4560 is capable of 1080p easily when paired with a more powerful card, but I feel that these two components still go well together to form the basis of a budget gaming system. Far Cry Primal averaged 55 frames per second. Fallout 4 next again at 720p with the medium preset to achieve 42fps on average. For this part of the video we were walking around the outskirts of Diamond City, one of the most demanding areas in the game from my experience. Now when we moved into more open areas of the wasteland and the skies were a little bit clearer, this average went up to 48 but we still saw frame dips especially if we got into a gunfight where the game would occasionally freeze as well. With demanding titles, 720p is definitely the optimal resolution for this system, so with that, let's move on. Overwatch now, a game where this card at least will feel more at home, and we've also increased the resolution back up to 1080p. Some of you will be wondering why I haven't tested this card with my i5-4460, and I will soon, but as I said before, the G4560 is a more realistic pairing, and one that helps represent a more balanced, casual budget build. With the high settings here, 60 was the average, and this was with 100% resolution scaling too. I've never been one for dropping the scaling and would rather change the settings before I did that, but that would be something that's entirely up to you, although I can't complain with 60 frames per second at all. CS Go now at 1080p once again with the lowest graphical quality. The game averaged 90 frames per second here across a few maps that we tested. 90 is the average combined. The Pentium and RX 550 are holding up nicely in these eSports titles and you can't fault the card for performing, well, exactly as advertised. But here's the thing, in my opinion the RX 550 is priced too high. Sure it's $80 or pounds but as I mentioned at the start, the RX 460 isn't really that much more expensive and would give you a nice performance boost over this GPU. It would also suit the G4560 very well and would eliminate some of the bottleneck. If AMD priced the RX 550 at perhaps $50 or $60, it may be more tempting, and with the RX 560 on its way as well as rumours of a GT 1030 from Nvidia, I don't think it would be wise to buy this card at the moment, unless less demanding titles are more of your thing and you're not likely to play any of those AAA games. With that said, it would still go nicely with a G4560 or something along those lines, but I wouldn't go pairing it with anything more powerful. So there we have it guys, this has been a little look at the G4560 and RX550 budget system. As I mentioned before, I will be featuring more in-depth videos on this build and probably doing a sort of a walkthrough uh, build video of this thing too just so that you guys can follow along at home should you want to build something similar to this, although as I mentioned I wouldn't rush out and buy this card just yet. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless, leave a like on it if you did, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.